One of New Mexico's best high school football players in recent years is in trouble. Albuquerque police today arrested Ryan Trujillo, who is now a Lobo walk-on quarterback. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live in the newsplex with the story. Dick, Jessica, the UNM football program has had a number of brushes with the law in recent years, but this is the first incident since new coach Bob Davey took over the program last November. Less than two years ago, Ryan Trujillo was New Mexico's Gatorade Player of the Year and led the Manzano Monarchs to the state title game. But today, Albuquerque police say the now UNM redshirt freshman's actions led him to jail. Investigators say it started this afternoon at this Wex restaurant on Juan Tabo when Trujillo showed up and found his girlfriend inside. I appeared to be very upset, uh, grabbed her keys. Uh, from the table that was that was obviously visible on the table, and immediately ran out, to, started to walk out towards her car. According to the criminal complaint, when the girlfriend tried to get her keys back, Trujillo grabbed a pink mace bottle attached to those keys. He then deployed that right into her face. Investigators say Trujillo later told them this was accidental. Then police say Trujillo tried to get into the girlfriend's car, and the two struggled over her purse, a gift he had given her for Christmas. She grabbed the purse quickly. Uh, he grabbed at her arms a couple of times. Uh, she was able to get away and go into the restaurant. After the girlfriend recovered her keys, she was able to drive away and call police. Trujillo was later arrested at Wex and is being charged with domestic violence. We did reach out to the UNM football team for comment. A team spokesman says it's aware of the report and is looking into the case. Back to you. Okay, Alex, this is the third police incident involving the UNM football team in a little over a year. In late 2010, three players were involved in a brawl at a downtown nightclub. Last summer, an assistant coach was arrested on DWI charges. That coach and two of the three players are now gone from the program.